I think movies have such awesome learning potential for people. They can teach people things in a big hurry. It, very powerful messages can come from movies. And something I've always been fascinated with are movies or programs that will show the same scenario from different perspectives. Um, there was a, uh, what was it, Mad About You, uh, what is it, The Ride Home, uh, Season 3, Episode 7, where they're at this party, and they were showing the perspectives of what happened from, at that party from different people. It kind of ended catastrophically, the, the, the party did, and, uh, but... Uh, you know, it was showing the different recollections of it. And I think that would be really interesting to uh, spread that into, let's let's say, let's say, ha let's, ha let's have a movie where, yeah, they try to do some of that thing. Let's, let's have a number of different nationalities or something, right? Let's have, you know, different families or different groups or different friends that, um, come from different cultures and it's kind of one of those standard uh, plots they get together for a common cause and they meet their goal at the end right and there's a movie for each one of the groups or each one of the families and each movie um, has a different director and you know one that you know wants to specialize in the type of culture that's going to be represented and each movie really really focuses on the things that each one of those groups um the things that are really an, an integral part of the culture you know zoom in on it a lot when they're when they're doing certain actions you don't have to you know, explain each one of these things. This is why we do this. No, I just just focus on it a lot. You know, um, and each movie focuses on the different things that each one of these uh, cultures does. And it's all this. It's all each movie is the same scenario, the same you know basic happening, the same point in history. Um, but it's from the perspective of that group. And I just think the learning potential for that would be is is pretty cool. I mean, we learn a lot from movies, whether we want to admit it or not. We do. As I said, they're really, really great. They have a great learning potential. Uh, uh, so, another one that I've thought about is, uh, and I thought about this is like I don't know, fifteen years ago, but I think it would be cool. To have well, this is a movie that would never come out. You know, there, Hollywood would never release something like this. But it's still this concept where okay, it's one movie, but it's split into two uh, parts. Maybe the the last section of it could be a little bit shorter. It could be abridged a little bit, right? But its purpose is to try to show how messed up things can be and how we don't really pay attention to why some things are messed up. So it's the same scenario, the same exact thing, except the first time you see it, it's in an alternate reality. Second time you see it, it's in this reality, right? And it's a story about someone who just becomes very depressed and it just shows things happening in their life and they eventually commit suicide and then their friends and family are left going, why did this happen? Right? But the, the alternate reality, um, are, are, it's, it's things like, uh, you know, what parts of the body are considered uh, unacceptable to show bare? You know, change that around. Uh, change around some things about language. It takes some common words and replace them with some other word. Or have some new word to, 
you know, take place of things that we normally use. Um, or, I mean, it could even be, uh, I mean, how English already borrows words from other languages, just do that a little bit more, you know. Um, religious symbols would be all, would be totally different. You know, the, the whole idea of, of a Jesus type of character that, you know, supposedly died for telling people to treat each other decently. Um, you know, have that character having been killed through some other method. And so you see all these symbols of whatever else this is. I mean, if you wanted to make it absurd, you know, you could just have, oh, it's someone bending over showing their ass. And there's some terrible thing they did to this person. Uh, they they uh, inserted uh, hot molten lava into their ass or something, right? I mean, just whatever it is, right? Um, and everything, just just little twists here and there that just make the... Like, okay, things that we normally consider to be ugly... You know, we have, most people agree, wow, that's really ugly, is what they think is the most greatest and most beautiful in this other reality you know, from hairstyles to car styles to um uh, maybe makeup techniques you know obviously clothing is going to be a, quite a bit different because of what the thing that you're not supposed to see how that is framed within you know clothing right um so everything just seems absurd. And, you know, by the end of the movie, you're like, man, I, I, I wouldn't want to live in that kind of reality either. Even though it's, everything's, uh, it's all the same scenario and the same emotions and the same kinds of interactions with people. It's just a different reality. So then they show the same thing again in our reality and it makes people go, oh, Probably be one of the most depressing films ever made if something like something like that was ever made. But you know, um, well, even even other things, not not just the way people look uh, as far as the, the alternate reality. Even bridges, the way bridges look, you know, just just do some of the, the have the, the the kind of bridges we normally just go. Oh, that's so ugly, you know. Uh, Parks. You go to a park and the, the the benches. Just just you know all these little things that are just just everything looks ugly everywhere you go. Um. And that would be the uh, the reality to throw people off. Um. <clears throat> I think it would be interesting to have a movie where. There are many points in the movie where some the main characters it does something and you see it starting to have a terrible effect like they're going to die and then just suddenly the movie just kind of rewinds and then starts from that point on as if they you know well now they're going to make a better decision right or it might even show like you know six or seven different versions of what could happen and then they settle on the eighth, which might end up, end up even being worse than the others. You know, just... Of course, hard to be worse than death for a character in a movie. So, I mean... Just something that... Shows us more than what a standard kind of story uh, would show. Um... I think for things that are released direct to video, um, I think it would be interesting if there was a uh, choose your own adventure movie. I don't know if you remember anyone remembers those choose your own adventure books, but you know have a choose your own adventure movie. <laughs> uh, that's probably already exists, but you know. <laughs> and I guess I'm done rambling. Blah blah blah.